Hey guys, what is up? And I welcome each and every one of you to a new episode of my Journey to Challenger. In this one, we're setting up Masters 1011 LP. Now, the last episode was a little bit of a questionable one. Didn't really go the way I wanted it to, but for this one, we're going to be playing once again. I might bring out my new pick that's going to uh, essentially replace my Twisted Fate. There's also another pick that I want to play as well for uh, mid lane. That's going to be, I, I think, honestly, a lot of fun. And also, in an upcoming episode, maybe today's episode, maybe not, maybe like the next episode, I'm not sure, but really soon, if not today. I'll be dual queuing with Night Blue for an episode, so hopefully you guys are excited for that as well. But let's not waste any more time. Let's just jump into the games, boys and girls. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. But let's win. Let's go. Let's climb. Let's do it. All right, guys. The first game is about to begin. Honestly, I, I was in queue for like, it must have been half an hour at least. There, there was like probably 10 dodges in a row or something like that. Pretty insane, but playing Zephyr the first one, facing, I'm a cutie pie actually. This is, I think, my first time actually facing him in solo queue. He's playing, of course, his patented Heimer bot lane, which honestly is actually a pretty good pick. Uh, if, you, if you know how to play it, Heimer bot is really powerful, but we have we have Fiddlesticks, which I think is fantastic with Aftershock. That's that's great. And we have a Zyra 80, you know, 80 carry, which I haven't really seen too much of that. I'm not entirely sure. It sounds like a decent pick actually against the Heimer. Maybe, you know, maybe it's like a decent way to counter it. I mean, Sono's also really squishy, so... If they just focus down Sona, she dies in seconds. Like the fear into the sounds, into the Zyra snare, into the Zyra ult, like she's dead. So this seems pretty interesting. Fiddles, uh, fi uh, blah, blah, blah. Twisted Fate mid with exhaust and fleet footwork. I mean, just a lot of interesting stuff. So let's get this party started, guys. Let's win. Let's go. Holy fucking shit, that damage is actually nuts. <sighs> I flashed her fucking flash, like her E, and she still did that much to me. That is that is actually insane. Hello, what is this? Block it for me! Oh. That's really good. This Camille put a lot of pressure mid, man, but she got literally nothing from it other than my flash. And the Gragas comes in for one gank, and we get a kill. Beautiful. Dude, this, this Camille is actually just sitting mid. Like, unbelievable. That's our fourth gank now, mid. What the fuck is that? Nice, boys. Can we go for this tower, maybe? Camille's top side. We can go for this tower. This is his first tower, for sure. Gragas covers mid. Nice. Good shit, yo. Good shit. Man, Fiddlesticks support is so broken. That's I, I actually, like... I, he's, like, my permanent band champion now. Fiddlesticks. Like, if, if you play support... Play fiddle, I promise you, man. You will climb. It's so broken. It's just so strong. Can't do anything anymore. That's all you guys. <clears throat> Cut flash. Not bad. Oh. <laughs> Boy, that's actually genius. Dude, that, that that was actually a 200 IQ ult right there. Nice. Oh, the Zara damage is gonna come in hard. Okay, well, not as hard as I thought it would actually. I thought it would be a little harder than that. It's okay. Nice dodge. That's OP. That's so fucking OP, dude. What? This is bad. Wait, what? Huh? Huh? Wait, why didn't the Gragas just leave, dude? What? Wait, what? Why didn't the Gragas just leave as well? I don't understand. What? What did he? Why did he do that? Fuck, dude. I don't know. That's rough, man. That's a rough one. I have to say, that's pretty fucking rough. I guess we're just all like squishy. So like, I mean, this Camille just uh, wow. Heimer is does so much damage too. He has his honest, so he's impossible to kill. I don't know. That's a rough one, man. I actually feel like we just got straight out comp there. I mean, obviously a lot of mistakes other than that, but Jesus Christ, that was hard to learn. 
All right, guys, the next game is about to begin for this one. We're playing Support Pike. Now, I actually don't mind playing Support. Only if I can play Pike, though. I love Pike. This champion is fantastic. If I'm, like, playing Support, then I, I don't want to play Pike. So, uh, yeah, last game was uh, mm, interesting. Uh, I mean, I had really big camps mid of Then, I don't know. It, it, it kind of worked out fine for the most part. You know, put me behind a little bit, but it wasn't too bad. And then, I don't know. The Heimer, I, I thought I can kill him. I... I don't know if I just didn't press W fast enough, or he just timed his E really well. That was insane. I was actually really shocked. Uh, it's actually insane. How long has he even stunned for? I'm still like thinking about that. That's insane. But anyways, focusing on this game now. Playing Pike support, boys and girls. Let's get this party started. Let's win. Because we just fell barely under 100 LP. Don't like that. Don't like that at all. That's right, that's right, pull away! Oh god, careful, don't let him heal, don't let him heal. Coming for you! I'm swimming for you! I'm coming, I'm swimming, we're coming for you, baby! Da 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 da! Really? Woo, baby! Pike, Pike, p -p Pike Town, baby! Oh, he's coming too? Oh, what's up? You back already? Vladimir, you are back, my friend. Hello, my friend. Come here, baby. Yo, yo, this is actually, this is why I like Pike support, baby. Like, you, you can carry with this champion. That's why I love him. You can actually just carry with the champion. Fuck, I should be giving the kill solution. Wow, I can't believe he actually backed in there. That's actually... I, I don't think he would. I'm like, you know what? Let's check it just in case. You know, maybe. Just maybe. I'm just scaring them off. That's all I'm doing. I'm just trying to zone them off. Really fucking hard. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Live, 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 live. Nice! Worth, baby, worth. Oh! <laughs> that killed. <laughs> That'd be funny. Anyways. I mean, that's fine. Right, 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 right. Oh. Let me out, boys. No, I'm like back to full HP already. That's actually kind of insane. It's all for zone, baby. It's all for zone. All for zoning. Just doing that makes them really scared and they have to back off, which is really good for us. We shouldn't Baron it off. Uh, we, we do not Baron here. No, 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 no. Please, please, please. Nice. There's a good chance uh, the Rakan might come to here. Oh, he's not. That's actually so tilting. I couldn't get the... Where is our smite, my friend? Where is our smite, my friend? Uh, the game would have been GG right there if you actually landed your smite. They had no smite!
Really? Wow, that dares is so hard to kill. Like, that was a massive pick too, and like, it just felt really bad. It just felt so hard to kill. I mean, fuck, whatever. This Udyr. This Udyr threw us the game. He can't fucking smite when they have no smite. All right, guys, and probably the final game of this episode is about to begin. Not gonna lie, a little bit, uh, a little bit tilted, but it's gonna go ahead and uh, just carry this one because you know what? I got Talon. I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm ready to just, I'm ready to just steamroll this game completely. The only thing I have to watch out for is Poppy's cancellation of my Q. That's about it. Other than that, their team is fairly squishy. I mean, these two obviously aren't, but these three are. And that's the ones they'll be killing. Uh, we have a lot of AP damage. I'm pretty much the, yeah, I'm the only physical damage. We have AP, AP, and I mean, she's half and half roughly, right? So, I think we have scale too. Well, I don't know. Do we? I don't know. I mean, Kai's out, out scales like pretty much every AD carry, almost. Every current meta AD carry, which there aren't many of. Brand late game is pretty annoying. I mean, I guess Smundo is annoying late game, but I mean, Kai'Sa will melt him, right? So maybe it's fine. Let's see what happens. Okay, I was just waiting for him to use all his abilities. The second he uses all his abilities on the minions to try and see us, I kill him. I pretend like I'm roaming top, and I just hop over the wall and kill him. It's pretty, uh, pretty nice, simple play. Wow, very lucky. Very, very lucky. I get Talon and they open mid. Lol. Oh my goodness, come on boys. Let's uh <laughs> let's regroup a little bit there, you know. Oh, well, I mean I get Talon and they open mid and the game's done, so that's just like it sucks that he's promo banned. I mean, I understand why. I feel like this game is uh, a pretty decent demonstration where if you know how to play Talon and you know how to like do the pressure, like especially considering like, I went down to like a diamond one game, like, it's just so free. All right, well, I get Talon in game three. I mean, I, I just want more Talon, man. Like, if you know how to play this champion, my God, it, it really is honestly pretty OP. Like at this point, I actually want Ryan to nerf him. Like, please nerf him a little bit or something. Just by all means, man. Like if this, if that means I can get more Talon, Cause like like I said, man, I honestly feel like in, the only way to win League of Legends games is win your lane and win another lane. For instance, in this game, I won mid, I won bot, I won in their lane as well. That's it. That's how you carry. That's how you carry games. You have to win your lane. You have to roam. You have to win on another lane, or if not both of them, or something like that. I don't know. You know what I mean? That's that's how you that's how you win games, man. That, that's it. That's that's all you do. And Talon is like the best at it. All right, guys, JK Alive. This is gonna be the final game. Uh, gonna see what happens here. Probably the last game actually is gonna be happening right now. AP Trinity, guys. The guy's playing AP Trinity mid, which is really interesting. Uh, anyways, so gonna go ahead and play Cosmos in the jungle. I ended up swapping quite a bit of roles because we have a Draven one trick, who's a Smurf. Uh, yeah. So let's see what happens in this game, boys. I'm, I'm like too focused on this chat. I can't even speak to you guys properly. I apologize. Oh, it's Aatrox mid. Ah, oh, interesting. Nice, I'm taking all the objectives from him. It's really good. This Draven can really use that to snowball the lead. I just want this Draven to hard snowball. That's like his job right now. I mean, that's what Draven does. Kill the Lux, baby. Might have to Herald here. You can't kill one on one. <gasps> wow, that Q hit her literally like the, it must have been the split fucking second that her ultimate finished. That's disgusting. Wait, where did my ego?
All right, well, I mean, I did my best. I got so many objectives for us. I, I really did what I could, but unfortunately, our bot lane is actually not doing that well anymore. Because they fought too many times with this Trinimir. These two are duo, so like they fought too many times together, I believe. Or some shit, I don't know. Okay, now Draven literally just ran it down, actually. Wait, that Draven literally just pulled a Tyler 1. He just straight up ran it down. What? Like, this is what I mean, man. Dude, this, this Draven literally rage quit. Like, can we just, like... Dude, the Draven literally rage quit, man. Just, ah, forfeit the game, please. Oh. And this right here, boys and girls, is why I play with some friends. Like, Heisenong, for instance. Or, you know, whoever wants to play that, you know, is actually not bad at the game. Because I get this shit. This is exactly what I get. It's just impossible to win. Or I have that Udyr who can't smite. Like, the games are just out of my control, boys and girls. They're just straight up out of my control. I'm lucky. What can I say? GG, I guess. I mean, not really, but... It is what it is, man. It is what it is. All right, guys, that's been the end of this episode. There you have it. Some high-quality League of Legends on the NA North American server because we expect nothing else, of course, than this just amazing quality of League of Legends on the North American server. It's just where the highest level of quality exists, only the highest level of quality here on this server, boys and girls. But either way, guys, I mean, honestly, I, I don't think I played that bad, right? Like, if you look back at it, like, I already forgot what the first game was, actually. I completely forgot my first game. Oh, yeah, this is that game. I mean, that game was... Yeah, I don't know. We just did they have a did they have an Aatrox? No, they didn't have an Aatrox. They just I don't know. That game was yeah a bit uh, pretty hard actually, pretty hard. But this game would was a hundred percent a win. Uh, unfortunately, our Udyr's uh, smite button wasn't functioning that game. This game I finally got Talon, finally got the champion to carry the game with. They they literally opened mid because it's just so free. Talon is just so free, man. If you know what you're doing with Talon, it's, it's it, it is pretty free. This game I actually thought I I honestly do think I, I played pretty well considering I was facing a jungle top or a jungle top both Smurf duo queue. I think I did pretty well. Got both dragons, got the Rift Herald as well. But this Draven pulled the Tyler 1, just ran it down mid. And yeah, I mean, what can I say? Unlucky, boys. Unlucky. But either way, guys, if you did enjoy this anyways, uh, you know, hit, hit the like button, I guess. But hopefully next time will be better. Maybe next episode I'll do a queue with Night Blue. We'll see. But until then, have a great day. Peace.